my sister, with the babies. I want you to hear this. Your daughters must hear this. It's very important that they hear this because they're not teaching our children in school no more. They're not teaching our children in history no more. If you if you ask your daughter right now, which one of these depictions is Christ? Which one is she gonna point to? Let's find out. Come on, let's do a test real quick. Bring it out. Because they're not teaching this in church. They're not teaching this in school. Young princess, you a princess? You a princess. You a princess as well. Which one of these depictions would describe Christ? This one or this one? This one? You'll go with this one? All right. What about you, young sister? They don't, but it's your job to teach you. Give me that in Deuteronomy. I'm going to show you something, sister. You're my sister, and I love you. I love my young sister. This is a commandment that we must do. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 6. Got it, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 1. Uh -huh. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you. Te that teach you. Teach us. Read. That ye might do them in the land where ye go to possess it. Read. That thou mightest fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and commandments which I command thee, thou and thy son and thy son's son. Talk about your children. So you got to learn the commandments and you got to teach them to your children. You understand that? You must teach them to your children. Read on. That all the days of thy life and the days may be prolonged. Uh -huh. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye might increase mightily. Verse 7. Uh -huh. And thou shalt teach them diligently. Here we go. Read that again. And thou, and, thou, and you, shalt teach them diligently. Shall teach them diligently. Because they got to know this. I'll write that with you, my brother. Right. Read Unto thy children. Unto thy children. You gotta teach them the Bible, the Bible, the law, statutes and commandments. You gotta teach them that women are supposed to wear dresses, not pants. You gotta teach them that you can't eat catfish or pork, crab or lobster. You gotta teach that. You gotta teach them that. You gotta teach them that that's no, you can't eat pork. You can't eat catfish. You can't eat shrimp. You gotta teach them that. Yes. Uh-huh. That again? Yeah, you should pray over everything you eat. But it's, it's things that he designed for you not to eat, no matter if you pray over it or not. You can't eat that. Alright? These are laws you gotta come back and teach. You should know who they want that? Yes, sir. Alright. And now shall teach them diligently unto thy children. You gotta teach them diligently. Meaning you gotta be on them consistently every day. Don't let a day go by without going over the laws with them. You understand? You're going to teach them that. Read on. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. You go home, you sit in the house, you got to talk to your children about the word of God, the Bible, the law. Read on. And when thou walkest by, when you walk by them, whether, whether they're in the room, when they toy, you got to teach them. You got you to drill them. You have to train them up. Bible is our history book. This is a real book. 
It's not a figurative, no, this is real. Now my question I asked you was, how did the so-called blacks get on this side of the world, come to this side of the world? Bring it out. Did we magically appear over here just poof? Did we, did we get on a, a cruise ship? Did we get on a cruise and say, you know what, let's, what, what happened? Historically. Do they know? Okay, do you know? I can, yeah, I can do that. How? How do we get over here? That's what I'm asking you. I know. That's what I'm saying. Shack of the chains, but by way, by what transportation? But by, okay, let's keep it PG. What type of transportation do we use to get over here? Come here. Come here. No, I want you to see this. These are real depictions. I'm going to show you this in the Bible. Book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way they should go. What's your name, sis? My name is Basilea. The Bible says train what? Train up a child in the way they should go. The Bible says train up a child in the way they should go. Now, take a picture of this stuff. Take a picture, take it home, look at it later. Take a picture for yourself. This says train up a child in the way that they should go. Read. And when he is old. And when they get older to make their own decisions, read. He will not depart from it. He won't go astray from the Bible. But what you're telling me is, oh, they, they, too, they shouldn't be looking at that's too graphical. But you mean to tell me they can search the internet and play video games that was designed by other nations? They can get on Facebook and watch Floyd get choked out? They don't, and I don't think that's right either. I'm not, um... They should be looking at these images. But do they see it? So we should pack this up and don't even talk about this. And it should. Exactly. So my question to you is, how do we get here? And you say about where? Look at this shit right here. Take a look at this slave shit right here. You look at it. You take a look at it. Right? What if I told you that this right here is documented in the Bible? What if I told you that? Let's get that real quick for the sisters. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Here's the thing. They not teaching our children in the schools no more. You know what they teach in the schools? You know what they teach it? They teach the same sex marriage. I'm talking about me. What I'm doing. That's like what you're saying. I don't even want my kids to know about me. Are they, are they homeschooled? You don't, you don't, you don't say I don't. Why would you say that? Why would you make such a statement? I'm trying to tell you how I want to. I just asked you a question. Are your children homeschooled? Are your children homeschooled? That's all I'm asking. Where are most kids? Where are most kids at today? Where are most kids at today? You tell me. They lost. They lost. That's what they got. I stopped you to enlighten you, not to put you on the spot. You, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what the problem is. Willie Lynch has done a number on our people. Get that. Do you even know who Willie Lynch is? Get that. Oh, I'm about to walk away because you, you, you have freedom to do so. Right now, this is the part of what you want. Read what you got for the system. The book of Deuteronomy, oh, chapter 28, verse 68. We've been so beat down. We've been so beat down to the point we don't even want to know our own history. Give me that in Isaiah chapter three. Our people don't even consider. Watch this. That's prophecy right there. Out the Bible. All our people don't consider. They don't care. They don't want to know who we are. They don't want to know where we come from. Watch this. This is prophecy. Read the, the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Read. The ox knoweth its owner. The ox knoweth its owner. The ox is a dumb animal. But the ox knows who we belong to. Read what you got. And the ass, his master's crib. And the ass is another word for donkey. A donkey knows where his master's crib at, right? Read. But Israel, but who? But Israel, but Israel, Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and other Indians, read. They do not know. They don't know. They do not know who they are. We, my people, my people, do not consider. They don't care. They don't consider. They don't give a damn. Read. Oh, sinful nation. Oh, sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. A people that is laden with sin. A seed of evildoers. A seed of evildoers. They want to continue in sin. But the prophets are back in the earth to give you the warning that you must repent.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.